Uber is ending its fuel surcharge. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And that's right, Uber is now ending its fuel surcharge on January 3rd. It's been in place since March of 2022 and is ending January 3rd, 2023. So what you see on the screen right now is the update to the fuel surcharge. It says back in March, we introduced a temporary fuel surcharge on all trips. Your passengers have been paying 45 cents to 55 cents on every trip, and 100% of this amount has been going directly to you. You'll continue to get the fuel surcharge on every trip until January 3rd. After that, the surcharge will end. Keep in mind, as a driver with blue status, you'll get 2% cash back on gas at any station. In any city with the Uber Pro car, you'll also get 4% cash back on EV charging at eligible stations. And depending on what status you are, well, it's going to change on how much cash back you could get if you have the Uber Pro card. But if you don't, you're not going to get any cash back when it comes to filling up at gas stations from Uber. Now Uber, when it comes to rideshare, is one of the last companies when it comes to a fuel surcharge. When Uber Eats already had dismantled that long ago actually, and then Lyft actually kind of followed suit a couple of months ago, and now Uber is also following suit. But gas prices have come down pretty much everywhere to before what it was when it started spiking, so it's good. And I'm actually glad to see that they did keep it in place through the New Year's weekend, and that was going to help when it came to drivers out there making a little bit more money. Not only that, when it came to New Year's, because I'm recording this on January 2nd, the effect takes place on January 3rd. How was your New Year's? Comment below and let us know. But we're talking about gas and the fuel surcharge and unfortunately that one is coming to an end. Now an extra 45 or 55 cents depending on where you are per ride was pretty nice but since that is going away that is going to eat into some of the money that you're bringing home every week. So the thing that you can do when it comes to helping to not pay the full price of some gas stations or making sure you're getting the lowest cost let's go over a couple of different tips that you can follow in order to get the best price and lower those expenses so again you're working smarter not harder and bringing more money to your pocket instead at the pump so first off when you drive rideshare you're going to be covering a lot of area so take note at what gas stations and what prices are at those gas stations because you could save maybe 10 15 up to even 50 cents off a gallon just on the location of the pumps some places it's going to be much less expensive and if you're driving around that area usually it's not going to be out of the realm of possibility to just go there when you have somebody that you're taking. Just hit the stop new requests or the pause feature, go get gas at that station, and you just save some money there. Another place you can go is at these wholesale clubs. So places like BJ's, Costco, Sam's Club, they usually have gas at the location when you are a member at one of these places. And it's usually cheaper to get gas there than it might be in the surrounding gas stations. So that is a great place to go. Not only that, if you're near an area that has an Indian reservation where gas is usually cheaper and a lot cheaper depending on where you are. Like for me, I have a 20 minute drive to go to the Indian reservation down the street from me. And instead of paying 350 a gallon, I pay 287 a gallon. So you can see I'm saving just there almost 75 cents per gallon. And for 24 gallon tank, that can add up quite a bit. The next tip is download gas apps. Upside, Gas Buddy, those are some apps. There's other apps, we've already made a video on that. You can check that video out. I'll leave a link in the description on the different ways that you can save using gas apps. But also combine that with cashback apps or receipts for cash apps like Fetch. And those are apps where you can actually take pictures of the receipt, upload them, and get either points or cash back depending on the app and you will be able to help lower the cost again when it comes to gas. Then the last thing you should be doing is just driving smart. So instead of just driving around waiting for the next ride or order to come in, pull over to the side of the road, go into a parking lot and hang out there 
don't be driving wasting gas. And also when it comes to your car and maintenance, make sure your tires are fully pressured. Make sure that you are starting and stopping slow. So those are a few tips that I have when it comes to just getting the best gas price wherever you are in your location using different apps and also just driving smart. What are some tips that you have to help offset the price of gas or get it at the best price? Comment below, let everyone know. And because this is your business where you're trying to make a profit and reduce expenses, check out this video right here, which is going to talk about the different gas apps that you can use in order to get the best price or cash back. Also, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when new videos come out. Drive smart, everyone.